Oh, I'll, I'll give it some. Uh, man, I, I bet you do. You got three Doctors, kids. I get. I bet you do. I do. You got the red hair. Exactly. You look like you'd be fun. But again, don't nobody want to marry you. And at the end of the day, I don't give a shit if you no, get married or not. I don't give a shit if you. I don't give a shit if you get. I don't give. I don't get. I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Exactly, you're not. I don't give a shit whether you get married. I don't give a. I don't give. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit whether you get married or not. Shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right, too defiant in their fucking foolishness. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. My people, my people, what in the world is going on with all this celebrated single motherhood? What is going on with this? Why are you ladies so bent on trying to raise these kids without the fathers being present? Someone please explain that to me. Now, I'm not talking about because y'all ain't dating no more. Why the fathers are not being able to be able to see these kids, spend time with them, and do whatever. That's my question. You are prohibiting your child a special part of their lives. Now, I get it. Y'all broke up. Your heart, you, you, you hurt. He went on, he moved on. But let's be for real. Most of us, you didn't go into this with a loving situation. It was just more a sexual situation and a baby came out of it. So this is where we at now. We got ladies out here, got professional careers and refuse to want to bring a, a man in and raise their kids. They'll do it on their own. But this sister said she doing it because her kids going to take care of her when she get older because they owe her. Ain't that some shit? So, let's jump into this, man. I'm going to roll it back to one of Kevin Samuels, the Godfathers, and we're going to see what's going on with this. So, y'all make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe, and we're going to get right to this thing, man. Let's get to this. This is ridiculous. Lady. This is what it comes down to. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How you doing? I am well. All right. So, how old are you? 36. 36? Okay. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about today? I'm, I'm talking about overestimating values. Or hoes the housewife? Or did you have a question? I don't have a question. I was just saying, I know some men that are like, oh, they love escorts, they love strippers, and they go for those type of women. That's weird to me. But no, it's just weird. Uh, that's weird. But I know where she's going with it. She's thinking, why are they going for those type of women and not like the type she is? She she's a nurse. I'm above these women. But why they're not coming from me? So let's see what the Godfather got to tell us. I hope he tell her right. Because I will. Why? That's where the confusion comes into play, also. It's like you you, you know you know men, but what do these men earn and what do they do? Just like regular like Fixing air conditioners and stuff like that. Okay. So, I'm, I'm making the distinction about men who are making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, okay. So now, I'm, I'm, that's what we're talking about the higher income men. Mm -hmm. So you see, so what are you saying? You see women leave the club and get married? To, yes, to men that, yes, I have. But I'm not saying, I'm not sticking up for them. I'm on. Agreeing with you, also. You know. Now, we don't see them get married. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure she's looking at these entertainers and professional athletes. She got to be. But see, these guys aren't marrying these girls. They're getting with them. They're even making babies with them. But they're not marrying them. That's what she got to understand. A good time and a fun time. Do you want to be that or you want to actually be a wife? You see what I'm saying? So she looking at things totally different because professions. But it goes back to why nobody want you. All right? That's what we're going to go back to. So that we're going to keep looking at with her. Why nobody want your funky butt? Huh? Let's do that. Tell somebody why. Why nobody want you? Well, well, I, I will say that, you know, 
like I said, a lot of women ask, can you go from being a hoe to a housewife? Um, hoeing is going to be a hard one. Uh, <laughs> but did they get married? Or are they just together? They were just together. There's a difference. The difference is marriage. See, but one of the things about my platform is you can only keep scores in marriages. We can't keep scores in relationships, talking, hooking up, living together. Marriages are what's, is, is what we can count and is real. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, I don't think it's, it's a good path, though. So I don't, guys will date a woman. Guys will have fun with it, kick it with it, but walk down the aisle with one. Comes, comes into play, too, sometimes because, like, Men will date women like that. And then you got healthcare professionals like me that are out there and we're looking at people like this and I'm just confused sometimes, like to be honest. Well, what I tell you, she was making this about her. Why they don't want me, a healthcare professional, I'm a nurse, I guess that's what she is, but you guys out there shaking your butt and doing all this, why would they want that instead of this? We're going we're gonna to find out why they don't want you. And watch. Ladies, y'all keep thinking that these little things will not hold you up from finding a good man. Let's get it, Godfather. Dating means having sex without commitments. Mm-hmm. They don't get married, so do you want the outcome just because they're dating them? No. All right, they're in it for something different. But do you have any kids? Yeah, I have three teenagers. No! How many, uh, all by the same father or different fathers? The oldest, his father died, and then the younger two are by the same man. Okay. Um, so, two, well, do you want to get married? At this point, not really. So what's the what's the issue then if you don't want to get married? I mean, it's just after after a, a while of listening to you and I mean, I was already kind of like thinking that's kind of like the same way you were at a point. It's like, first off, I'm a little too busy to be, you know, if you're a real mom and you're really doing it for real by yourself, you're too busy for a man. You're too busy to even act like you want to date or include anyone in to the equation it should feel a little awkward in the first place to even just throw a man into the equation especially when you got kids that are up in age you know it's it's a little weird for, for but you're 36 kids. right okay how did how old is your youngest 15. oh you started early yeah i did so your so kids will be gone your kids are by before you're 40 years old your last kid will be out of high school right so what's the rest of life going to look like for a 40 year woman? So You're going to have your $2.4 million saved. Up. There it is. There it is. This is why you're not getting those guys. Those little things I was talking about, they call kids, children, whatever you want to call them. But that's what they are. That's what they are. So you have to put that in consideration that you have three kids, two different fathers. One father's passed away, so in the other father, you didn't say what's going on with him because he got two kids by you. Your kids up in age. You saying you're too busy to bring somebody in, to meet somebody and get married. You know, if you had someone helping you, you wouldn't have to be so busy. Did you think about that? Ladies, y'all got to stop thinking you're going to get some doggone kudos for busting it out by yourself. Oh, I'm so busy. I got, yeah, I'm guaranteed. I'm pretty sure you're busy. But why did you come on this platform complaining? You're complaining you don't want nobody. Ain't that some... (laughs) You're complaining about women getting dudes, but you're saying, I don't want nobody. So why are you here? Go be by yourself with your grown kids. So, so right now, so right now, I'm just working on my company. It is a baby. But are you going? Are you going to have your two point four million dollars 
saved by age 65 to retire on? I don't know. Let's hope. There's no hope. As a single one, as no, no, there's no hope. See, if you don't have a man, I mean, you, no, listen, I, listen, 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 li want. listen, 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 I need you to listen. Mm -hmm. This is not about hope. This is about family planning and life. This is, this is adult stuff. If you don't have a man, when you reach 65 in mandatory retirement, you can't work anymore. And you don't have enough money to live on from 65 to 85. You get you get more expensive as you age. Who's going to pay for you? Social Security won't be there. The government won't be there. Who's going to pay? I'm not saying that that's not what I want right now. I do not want to. So I don't later, care what, but but see, listen, later is too listen, late. Listen to me, later. No, when later I, is about too five years late. From now, in about five years from now, they're not going to focus see, on me. See, that's your, okay. Because I listen to why you. Do you, why, I, do you I, why do you, no, 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 no. Why do you think it works that way? Why do you think you can make these, why do you think you have that amount of control? You contradict yourself because you're No, no, I don't know. I asked, I asked, no, no, I just asked you. you. No, listen, no, no, not, no, 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 no. I'm talking, no, no. I ask you. Why do you think you can make that decision? And you're telling me I contradict myself. That's not an answer. That's a statement. Catch that little attitude. You cut me off. And, but she's been talking while he was trying to say something. But she's about to get upset now. Because now he's about to dig into her. And that's, and that's the thing. You thinking you can control. Like you're 36. And you're saying I'll consider a man maybe five years from now. What are you what what are you thinking about? You think you have that much control on what men gonna accept and what not accept? Why would the man want some 42 year old plus because you you decided at 42 to start dating? So you might be 43, 44, who knows? We need to get somebody younger and not so busy and not so attitude. Keep thinking, ladies. Y'all got time. I'm telling you, don't. So why do I what? Why do you think you can make, why do you think you have that much control? Why wouldn't I? It's my life. Why because, at four, because you had three children. Were you married to either one of the fathers? No. Okay. One died before I could even, and then the other two. Yeah, they're by the same man, but we, no, you have if somebody has issues, you gotta cut it off. You then why have babies that. with somebody that got issues? See, you, marry before you carry. Sometimes no, when they're young, no, you make no. Babies. See, there's the same shit again right there. I'm young and dumb. See, one of the biggest problems I have, especially with black women, is you you keep excusing yourselves. You give yourself the benefit of doubt, and then because life gets messed up and stressful, you put it off on being too busy and this and that. And at the end of the day, that but sounds. Need I need you to. I need, no, to okay, I'm going to. I'm going to either have the conversation. I'm going to have the conversation with you or over. You're not going to talk through me. That's just not going to happen. Go ahead. The reality is this: it doesn't matter what you think about it or I think about it. You are going to, somebody's going to have to pay for you once you retire. If you don't have a man, if you don't have, if you don't have it saved, either you're going to pay for it, your kid's going to pay for it, somebody, because the, the government ain't going to pay for it. Where's it going to come from? Okay, we'll say the kids, because I invest in them. Okay, and I'm That's fucked up. up. That's fucked up. That is the most jacked up thing. Why, ladies, why do you think your kids are going to grow up and take care of you when you basically, none of you show them how to do it, but they're going to have their own lives. I've seen a woman right now who thought her son, when he was supposed to get out of high school, she didn't told him. Now she leaves their dad, tells him he's the man of the house and he need to help her. He didn't go off to college, stayed home, got a job with Walmart, and then she online bragging about how he going to help his mama out, make sure mama good. What kind of crap y'all doing to these kids? 
All his friends and cousins went off to college. He stayed home working at Walmart helping her while she out buying all these iPhones and cars and all this other crap. So he helping her keep up a lifestyle that they don't have. And this chick talking about that's going to be her retirement, her kids. Man, y'all ladies better grow the F up. I'm that's building them up. up. That's the fucked up. That's <laughs> fucked up. That is fucked up. That is fucked up. You're not going to help your parents? That is fucked up. It is you don't not. Help your that is fucked. Listen to me and listen to me well, people. This is part of the problem with the black community. This is fucked up. That our black mothers like this think that their kids owe them something. Yeah, you do. No, they don't. I, I no, no. It. This is why. This is why. This is why. Most of our children are not born out of a loving, respectful relationship. Most of our kids are born out of a fuck. They're born out of sex. Oh, mine wasn't. Okay, out, they're not born in marriage. We were There's together. not a plan. But they're, did you, okay. For, for a year. Okay, so anyway, a whole year, a whole year, then you want to say you're young and dumb and this and that. That means no plan. And this is what I was just talking about earlier today on YouTube. But giving you yourself the benefit of that. To, you can't go from a, a choice that you made at 17 to 20 to 36 and then go back and be like, oh, well, you know, you can't. No, you can't. No, you okay, can't. So but you are supposed I'm, to. But I'm you raising are supposed my to. children and I'm laying in my bed and I'm raising my children. And when I'm finished, then I can focus on them. And this is the problem. You think really this is this is and this is the problem. They really think and they people. have this. They really think they have this much control. You can't tell them anything. That's why I'm saying, man, you think you have that kind of I, when they're then I can just plug this in like this. and I'll be young and beautiful. You'll be 41 with three kids. And you think a man is going to come in and say, oh, I'll, marry, I, I'll marry you. Sure, oh, yeah, I'll marry exactly. you. I'll marry you. And then I'll take on all and then I'll then you can take what responsibility. My what all right, yeah, all right. So this is a problem. This is what see, what you just see right now is this. Why I don't give the young and dumb excuse because you don't sound like you've learned anything. That. Because you said that. I'm doing this, I'm new, I'm doing that. Man, you don't have that kind of control. Men decide who get married, not you. Men determine who gets married. So if I decide I don't want to get married, that's not my control. That's no, my somebody decision. has to. Somebody has to decide to marry you first. You can decide no, when you accept the proposal. No, no. See, that's what I think. They they think they have control. They don't have. A man has to propose to you first. You, you act like we have to get married. Like I don't give a shit if you get married. I don't. I don't. I don't give. All, a, no, understand all, something. And I'm understand happy, something. I don't give it. Well, this is the same. This, this, this is the same. Now I want you guys to listen to this hyena here, and I'm gonna call her hyena because that's what she is. She came on here complaining about the good dudes not going for women like her. Now look how she's acting. She's sitting here thinking somebody is going to just pop out the woodwork when she's 40-something years old and propose, but nobody's proposing now when she's young and at her best. She thinks just because her kids get grown that they're going to be on their own. See, people, that's what y'all don't understand. Your kids might still be living at home with you. You don't know what's going to happen with those kids. They can go out to college and come right back home. They can flunk out and come home. Get home sick, come home. Just don't want to leave. What you going to do then? But you sitting here trying to dictate that you have a choice to get married or not, a man has to propose to you first. You cannot deny a marriage, a proposal, until one happens. So what are you talking about? You think you're going to look like that? And that ain't to appeal to all that red hair and these big eyelashes. Unless you want to get somebody in the hood. And I always told women that red hair is a big sign to a lot of dudes that you might be hood. I tried to tell one of my cousins that. I said, look, your girl having a problem finding a dude. This is probably because that red hair. She said, why you say that? I said, to me, it just, it just got off the hood. I said, you don't ever see women of a certain type with red hair. You just don't. And I ain't seen nobody wise walk around with no red hair. But this chick, 
same woman who came on complaining about how strippers get relationships and she doesn't. This this is why this is the same person. Oh, I don't say that. Oh, I'm I don't give a, man, I, I bet Trust you do. Me. You got three Doctors, kids. I get. I bet Doctors, you do. Come I do. You got the red hair. Exactly. You look like you'd be fun. But again, don't nobody want to marry you. And at the end of the day, I don't give a shit if you no, get married or not. I don't give a shit if you. I don't give a shit if you get. I don't give. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Exactly, I'm, you're not. I don't give a I shit whether you get married. I, I don't give. A, I don't give. A, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit whether you get married or not. I just make. I just hope that the taxpayer don't have to fund you because if your kids gonna have to pay for you, or you gonna be homeless because you ain't gonna have it together. Why would they? I mean, I definitely yeah. am working and I'm doing it. It doesn't day. matter because you take more because because you because, you, really great because you, are too, you are too you are too hard headed you are too hard headed and too stubborn to hear any goddamn. This is a woman who with red hair and cupid out eyelashes talking about well why these men go over here because there's not a sliver of paper difference between a ratchet stripper and a ratchet nurse there you have it guys there you have it a mess a mess i told you that's what it is she's crying about all these people want her and want to date her and all this and that nobody's trying to marry you young lady and you saying doctors and all this, and you still not trying to get with them? Come on. Like I said, yeah, you might be walking through because y'all have your nurse outfit so tight. I can see, you know, I can see what's going on next day. But that's it. You're not telling me you got someone of that caliber trying to get at you, and you telling him, no, I'm too busy. You telling a doctor you're too busy. Like they're not. That's why it makes no sense. You're the only one sitting in a high profession and can't get the guys that operate there. Stop crying about things y'all can't control. You came over here crying about why the dude, all these good dudes, dudes that got these, got money or whatever they got, jobs, not going for women like you, a nurse, because you got three kids at home. You're 36 and your youngest is 15. So what is your oldest? You see what I'm saying? You got these grown teenagers up in the house. Who wants to come in there to that mess? I don't understand why y'all think that's a plus for us to come into a household full of this. A bunch of undisciplined, ruling kids. You know they are. They only listen to her. And if it's boys in there, you know they already done stuck their chest out. Who wants to come into that? But that's what I'm saying, ladies. You got to put somebody in there when these kids are younger. You got to get some help while everything is young so you don't be stressed out and having these big hopes and dreams that your kid's going to make it big and come back and take care of you. Have you not seen the price of bread out here? Eggs and everything else? How much it costs to live somewhere? And you said these kids going to have to be able to do that and come back and take care of you. Not pay a bill, take care of you. You must be out your mind. It's hard enough for them to get established. And at what age are they supposed to come back and take care of you? Because they have to be about 30-something years old themselves to be settled enough to take care of you. So I don't understand what's your what's your idea of all this my kids owe me. They don't owe you. They didn't ask to be here. You did all this on your own. As a child, you started opening them legs as a child. You see what happened? And now you're about to put that on your kids. You better hope your daughters don't follow in your footsteps. And decide to have kids at an early age with no husband. Because the way you talk, there ain't going to be no man around. So she get pregnant, you probably already be telling the girl, don't worry about it. You don't need no man. We'll take care. I'll help you raise her. You don't need no man. How many times we done heard that? Y'all have a good day. I'm going to have one. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share. And always, always, and always, y'all stay vibing. And it's your boy, Mr. Nobody.
and I'm up out of here. Peace. All right, all right, all right.